Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today we are apparently breaking my chair, oh my gosh, did you hear that? Today we're going to be taking a look at a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan figure. I figured now was as good a time as any to take a look at some Gohan figures that I have had in storage for a while wanting to take a look at. And of course we are taking a look at the glorious GX Materia Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. This figure is absolutely fantastic and this is certainly a figure that I have wanted to take a look at for a while now. Of course, sculpted by the absolute figure goat, Varok Farquell. Still don't know how to say his name, but thank you for following me on Twitter, my friend. <laughs> I'm really excited about this guy, not just because obviously we are in a little bit of a Gohan hype time right now, but this is a really, really cool GX Materia figure. I love the pose that they chose for this guy. And not only that, I actually realized that I don't have a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan figure doing the father-son Kamehameha, the technical only, I think, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan figure that I have is the Grandista one, um, which obviously that one's like the interchangeable head. I don't know if I would really count that one though. All right, so we do have the instructions thankfully because if you're unaware the effect piece does not come all together we do have the instructions right here as you can see we're gonna have to refer to those when putting this bad boy together i know a figure coming with instructions impossible oh that sound was not great oh man okay all right perfect we got everything out yeah that that sound kind of hurt me i'm not gonna lie my ears are very sensitive to like squeaks i'm not sure why all right, so let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out. Oh, oh, I'm losing half the box here. Okay, let's get that to the side. This is what fell out. We have the actual pieces of the Kamehameha right here, which are a little bit sparkly, so we will tend to those in a moment. Let's go ahead and build the boy first. Um, wow, this stand is a lot smaller than I expected, but I guess that makes sense, considering that this figure is pretty small. Let's go ahead and pull that bad boy open. Unfortunately, it is the like kind of stinky stand. It's not the nice like clearer ones, which is kind of unfortunate. The camera doesn't like it so much it's not showing to you in good quality. There we go. <laughs> the camera was like, yeah, I hate those kind of stands too, bro. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and put that bad boy together. Boom, boom, easy clap. Let's go ahead and slide that to the side. Actually, we'll put those on top of that for right now. All right, so let's go ahead and open up his body. Very interesting. I don't want to keep banging that around too much because obviously with his head hanging there, I don't want that to keep hitting the table. Um, let's go ahead and unwrap that a little bit. Yep, okay. Then let me actually pull his head out and I can set it aside and then we'll take a little bit more of a detailed look. This is really hard to get out, by the way, because since his pants are so spiky, it's kind of getting caught on the plastic there, but there we go. It's interesting that they um, put his leg in cardboard, but they didn't put the rest of the part that's spiky that you kind of think that they would in cardboard. All right, so let's go ahead and get the head out, and we'll take a look at the head second since I did say that, but I just don't want the head to get damaged with me trying to like flail the bag around. Okay, this is going to be a little bit difficult considering that his head is quite spiky, but I think we are in the clear. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that to the side. We will chuck the plastic and the cardboard to the side as well. And let's go ahead and take a look. Actually, I might as well, we might as well just put the head on and take a look at it all together. But let's see, what is this hiding? What treasures are you hiding in here under this cardboard? Should I be cutting this? Nope, okay, I guess. Wh why? Interesting. I don't know why they covered that part up. I'm assuming it's because, like, there's a pretty big gap in the pants there, so they didn't want the gap getting ruined. That's really weird. All right. Well, let's go ahead and put the head on his body. It literally just goes on like this. Very kind of goofy angle when he's obviously not on the stand. And you definitely want to make sure to push that in because, obviously, uh, that gapping could be uh, kind of detrimental to your experience of this figure if you don't put it on right. I think that's correct. I've never had a figure go on at this angle before, so this is a little bit of a new one for me, um, which is a rarity, but wow, I have to say, after putting him together, holy moly, that is a good looking figure. Wow, unfortunately, it looks like mine has a little speck next to his cheek, but that's okay. We have a very, very nice looking Gohan figure. Wow, 
That really captures Gohan very, very well, if I do say so myself. The actual sculpt of the figure, too, is fantastic. Not only is the face really, really good, that is definitely Gohan. I think that they nailed the Super Saiyan 2 hair, and that huge bang there as well is awesome. I love the fabric sort of flying backwards as well on his outfit. Obviously, we have all these little rips and tears and things like that. The hole on the pants looks really, really good. I talk about sometimes that it kind of looks like for the holes in some of these pants, what they do is they just like make the hole and then they put the part in there for the leg and it looks terrible, but this looks like he's actually wearing the damaged pants, which is awesome. That's what I much prefer in figures like this. Like this knee here, oh, that is perfect. Very, very cool. The Namekian 5s also looking very fresh. Very cool that they are pretty damaged as well. Um, they definitely look really, really good, if I do say so myself. In terms of the actual sculpt, I don't see anything that I have a problem with on here. I mean, that is to be expected from one of the best sculptors in the Dragon Ball figure game. Obviously, we do have the Kamehameha ball here, which is kind of just looks like a sparkly marble. And it is sort of weird. They do this thing where they have like... I don't even know what to call it. I guess like sparkles on their hand. That's not just my figure being kind of gross. It's a thing with the GX material line. And I think it's the only thing that people really don't like. Is that they do this weird like try and gloss up the hand. To make it be like that he's charging up the key blast. I, I don't know. It it's sort of weird the way that they do it. But the sculpt overall absolutely fantastic. I don't think that you're going to find a better Gohan figure out there in this pose with a sculpt like this because this is a fantastic sculpt again the boy Varroque Varquo however he goes by need to somehow figure that out <laughs> don't know how I can figure that out though um, does a fantastic job yet again alright so let's go ahead and crack into this um, obviously we are going to need some tools for this um, and don't you worry this time around uh, I don't remember if I had them last time I think I just like broke them off but um, I did a little bit of digging because I knew I had one from building the um, the Jiren model kit that was on the regular Dokkan Asus channel. This one's going to be kind of a pain to get out. There we go. don't want to break these either, obviously. Um, okay. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. There we go. That should be enough space. Perfect. Okay. I did actually find my model kit. Uh, kit. And I found my model kit clippers. So... We are going to clip all of these little pieces out. Now, here's the thing with this figure if you do decide to get this bad boy for yourself. You don't need model kit clippers. You definitely don't need it. For my first figure, which was the GX Materia Goku, I literally just broke these pieces off and it was fine. It looks fine. It's a fantastic figure. But if you're a stickler about this sort of thing like me, I would definitely recommend it. Again, definitely not required, but it is definitely a... Um, recommendation on my part for sure if you want these clean cuts and then obviously because of the way that this works right you don't necessarily want these little edges let's see that cut pretty well yeah you can see here that uh, I don't even know if the camera will get it there's like a little no camera can't even really pick it up honestly sometimes you'll get these little tiny little edges where it's like the where it met with it honestly it kind of just looks like another sparkle in there i don't even think you can really tell maybe you can like right right there i believe is where the the coupling was it's hard to tell um, but obviously since i cut it with model kit clippers um you know it blends in a little bit more and the advantage again like i said about this is that because these are already blue and the spots where you would be cutting this would be white right it just sort of looks like that it's already um a part of the design because obviously the design is literally blue and sparkly. So again, if you're just ripping these off and you're not cutting them with model kit um, clippers, that's fine. You will have a fantastic result of a figure nonetheless. But obviously, oh my gosh, I literally shot right into the trash can. Sick. I mean, that is just about where I wanted it to go. There's a better example for you. Sorry about that being off camera. Yeah, literally right there. Look at the top one, or the, I guess it would be the right of these little pinchers right there you can see that's where I cut it right it's not gonna be perfect and the other thing is too if you wanted to as well with a lot of model kit kits right 
um, you do get like different things to sand it down and whatnot. You like you get a file or whatever. I'm not really gonna be doing that. Maybe for a normal model kit, I would. But honestly, on a figure like this, you're literally not even gonna see it. But I figured since I had the model kit clippers, I might as well just do it. You know, it's gonna make this whole process a lot easier. So now we're gonna do these ones, and I will actually cut here. I just wanted to give you a quick example of me cutting these, um, just so you could see. Okay, we are now done. I have all of my little Kamehameha pieces cut out here, and honestly, it is pretty difficult to tell where I cut these. Obviously, on some of them, you can see it like right there. You can kind of see that little white spot where it sort of met up with the actual runners, but again, you're not really going to notice it, um, and I think you'll be fine just breaking it off if you really don't want to go through the trouble of buying a kit like this. If you do, however, though... Um, I will leave a link in the description below where you can get um, this exact little kit that I have. It was very cheap on Amazon. I don't think it was more than like 15 bucks, um, and it worked really well. All right, so let's get our boy Gohan on the table here, and then let's go ahead and refer to our instructions on the inside of the box. So um, we want to connect. Interesting. Okay, so the piece for the circular part right goes on one of these maybe i should have left this on here let me reorganize hold on okay so we are nice and organized now one thing i will tell you is definitely be careful because this little end piece here right is obviously what you need to plug into the actual ball to make it float on gohan's hand obviously though if it's connected to one of these you could accidentally cut part of the coupling thinking it's one of the attachments to the runner right since obviously those things look very similar just be careful when you're cutting and ripping ripping and tearing doom style right that you don't accidentally rip off one of the little couplings all right so we now have uh the gamers assembled here so let's go ahead and actually uh, put this bad boy together so we have piece one and we have piece a so this goes like this this literally just plugs in like that be careful here too because obviously you don't want to break anything but make sure that has a nice fit in there it is a little bit loose but i think that that is correct okay so now we have this piece and now we need piece two and piece b which will there is that little peg right there, right? And that will plug into the... I don't know if you can see the hole. You can kind of see it right there. You can plug that bad boy into the hole right there. Okay. And it does actually feel like that the plug is shaped. So it is hard to mess this up and like try and put it on backwards. Because I can't really like move this as you can see, right? I also don't want to try just in case. Since this is obviously model kit plastic, right? or something close to it. I want to be a little bit delicate with it. Okay, so should we actually put him on the stand first and then do this? I think that might be a good idea. Or maybe it's going to be a terrible idea, but we're going to find out. Let's go ahead and chuck our bad boy on the stand there. That is a nice tight fit, um, and that is just about the like spot where he stands at. Let's go ahead and put this now on the ball. Um, so we're going to put number one into the bottom here i believe that goes there okay so we're actually going to keep him off the stand because it is a little bit easier to maneuver around our marble here and plug in what we need to plug in so number one says that it goes in the bottom right hand corner i am assuming that that means that the does the effect go over yeah it should be going um on the outside so at least then that way you won't be as confused the effect should definitely be on the outside of it and there is a groove there where this should fit in it is kind of oh okay that just slid in right there i don't know if that caught on camera i hope it did but it just slid right in okay just be careful with it. You can press it in a little bit more, but keep in mind, this is being held in by a literal single peg. So just be careful uh, when you're trying to put this thing on there. All right, so 
Let's do number four next because number four um, seems to be this one, which will go on the other side. It is kind of weird too because even though the holes are shaped, they're not like square pegs, right? They're sort of like these weird triangular rhombuses. <laughs> so they are like a little bit harder to see what you're doing, especially considering that um, since you're literally plugging blue into blue, it is a little bit harder. Ooh, okay, that one actually did go in pretty nicely. Um, that one actually made a decent sound too. Um, that one plugged in a lot better than the other one, I gotta say. I don't know if that was my wrongdoing or if, um, you know, it's just kind of goofy. All right, that is a really tiny peg. Definitely be careful with that for sure. Um, that one goes in. Oh my gosh, I am. Oh, every. Se oh, wait, I am cracking the ball. I was wondering what that sound was. I am actually cracking the Kamehameha ball. I think that's just a peg, but you can see the seam line is actually cracking the glue. That's what that sound was, me trying to put these in here. Okay, so definitely be very careful uh, when putting these in here. I must have been putting a little bit too much force. I didn't even really think that I was pushing that hard, to be honest with you, but... Alright, well... Yeah, that definitely cracked a little bit. Maybe I put one in backwards and that's what happened that's why it cracked it doesn't look like it though from looking at the picture on the box and looking at how I have him um, well one of them fell out let's just go ahead and put this one in here I don't think it should be too much of a problem to be honest yeah okay well that one will sit in there nicely because obviously that's on the top it is a little bit wobbly because my ball cracked I feel like I do see another spot where like the plastic actually cracked and it's not just, um, you know, the seam line. All right, gang. So I have kind of found the solution to the problem. I'm just going to stick him on the stand. Unfortunately, I think what happened is that I may have put the wrong one in the wrong slot for Gohan here. And what ended up happening is that it ended up cracking the ball and now the bottom ones are having a lot harder of a time staying in the actual ball because unfortunately um, since the ball is like cracked there's obviously more space in there now like as you can see this is super loose and it should definitely not be like that right um, because of that I believe that the bottom ones are having a harder time actually staying in the ball which is very unfortunate i think that this is a little bit of i don't know if this is also just because i've not seen anybody else have this issue right with this particular figure i'm wondering if this was just maybe on my particular copy the glue was unfortunately a little bit loose um, or something like that, right? And then obviously with me giving it a little bit of force to try and push the pieces in, it ended up giving the ball a little bit of a crack, which is very unfortunate because I have seen this figure put together plenty of times um, online, and I know that it works just fine. So I am really thinking that it is just my copy, um, as unfortunate as it is. I might just have to display him with these three, because sadly enough, the fourth one will not actually go in properly because now the like peg hole is basically too big for the peg um, to actually like fit inside and then stay there. I kind of have it here, but I have to be very careful not to bump it because it's super fragile at the moment. But yeah, here we go. Okay, I got her all together. Um, very unfortunate circumstance here. Honestly, I would still definitely recommend this figure. I think the sculpt is fantastic, and I do really like the Kamehameha effect. I like what they did with the little circle, too. It's cool that instead of just making it like beams, right, which they did with Goku, which looked good for Goku because there was a bunch of them, but obviously they don't just want to do the same thing over again 
and they want to spice it up a little bit it's cool that they added the little circular key effects to the front of the key blast here um, in addition to the key spikes here I would definitely recommend this figure still though I think that the thing is is just this was particularly my copy and also my uh, rock banging troglodyte strength <laughs> was apparently too much for this figure to handle but with that being said let's go ahead and move on to size comparisons of course our two usual boys take the stage with the Ichiban Kuji Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks and the WCF Super Saiyan 3 Goku both of these figures, obviously, um, the Gotenks is definitely scaled smaller, but of course he's still a little bit bigger because when isn't my man's hair tower over another figure? And of course you can kind of see that obviously this Gohan is a little bit small in scale considering that Goku himself is eh, about-ish Gohan like half of his height, right? Of course, Gohan is leaning over and he's not standing up. So, of course, that does help Goku's victory on being half the height of Gohan here. I would say that this figure is about, it looks about like 7, maybe just a little bit above the 7-inch mark, if you ask me. That is definitely where I'm thinking that he, guys, he stands, rather. So, definitely not too small of a figure in terms of length, right? Because, obviously... He has a lot of length from here to here, right? From his foot to the Kamehameha point. But of course, he's not really that tall. So I feel like this is definitely a guy that you could slip on the shelf relatively easily. Let's go ahead and do some comparisons with some other figures. By the way, the one thing I will say um, with this guy just sitting here that I did want to mention is one thing that I do kind of wish about this figure was a little bit different is I kind of wish that he was a little bit more like down like this on the stand, right? Where he was a little bit more like... I don't know, maybe his arm would be a little bit higher, obviously, because right now he's sort of shooting at the ground with the Kamehameha. But it's kind of weird that he's like, I guess it is supposed to be viewed like this, and that definitely looks a lot better. But I, it feels like he's kind of shooting up, I don't know, or looking a little bit too far up, maybe. Either way, let's go ahead and put him next to some other figures. I got two for you today. I don't have that many Gohans, so I decided to grab my boy Ultimate Gohan to place next to this figure. These guys do look pretty cool together. Obviously, these are both from pretty big Gohan moments in the show, so it is pretty cool to see these two figures next to each other. It would be awesome to have a whole setup of all of the different Gohan forms, just like it would be cool to have one for Goku. And this guy will probably be a good actual piece to put next to the Grandista Ultimate Gohan when we eventually um, have that figure finally released. Trust me, I will be releasing a video on that guy as soon as I get him. Moving him off the stage though, the final figure that I have for you today. <sighs> Gotta blow the dust off my boy even though he was just here. I was just talking about him. How could I not put him on the stage considering we are looking at another GX Materia figure? That is, of course, the GX Materia base form Goku. And holy cow, is it cool seeing these two guys next to each other. Obviously, the GX Materia line is known for their effects and whatnot. And it is definitely super neat seeing these two guys standing tall right next to each other, both firing the Kamehameha with their very, very cool effect pieces. You can see the difference in the Kamehameha as well. It seems that even since the first release of the GX Material Line, which of course is this Goku, they have actually improved a lot. The Kamehameha looks a lot brighter. It's a lot less of a dirty color. Goku has a lot more of that weird dirty glitter on his hands. Um, it is cool too that obviously with Goku, he is sort of missing the top Kamehameha beam, but that's so that you can get a better look at his face. And it seems like a lot of the time with these figures, they've sort of taken that into consideration now um, and made it so that the figure's face is a lot more visible um, despite the effects being super present. But these guys are definitely super cool together. I cannot wait to get every figure in this line. There aren't a lot of figure lines from Dragon Ball that I will collect every single figure in it no matter the character but the gx material line i literally don't care what it is it could be cybermen and i would still collect it because these figures are awesome 
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you would like to pick up this figure, I will leave a link in the description. If you cop them from Amazon as well, I get a little bit of an extra cut with no extra cost to you. And if you would like to contribute to my figure collecting endeavors, you can do so over on the old Patreon that is just for figure unboxings and stuff. And of course, Please, if you did enjoy the video, like and subscribe. That is the best way to show your support. I cannot wait for this channel to grow. I am so happy with the way that things have been going on this channel. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the consistent weekly uploads. Keep an eye out for more Gohan unboxings. I think we're going to do the Ikiden Gohan and Goku next week. Because they are the figure that I've been trying to open for a fat minute and just been sitting in storage. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the figure in the comment section below. And please as well, if you had this same problem with Gohan's ball cracking a little bit, definitely let me know. Um, because I would love to hear what your fix was for it if you had one. But otherwise, I will catch you in the next one. Gohan Assets out. Peace.